just a hole in the ground. That's what I was worried I would find when I booked my plane ticket out to the Grand Canyon. That after all the expense of getting out there, nothing at the Grand Canyon's cheap, the lodging, the food, the plane ticket, I was worried I'd find nothing more than a hole in the ground. Now, spoiler alert and fun fact, the Grand Canyon is a hole in the ground. But it isn't until you are standing on the rim of the canyon that you can even conceptualize its grandeur. Unfortunately, I couldn't film in the Grand Canyon, and I am a very amateur photographer. But even if you are a professional, I don't think you can fully capture the intricate beauty of this place. John Wesley Powell, a famous geologist, historically known for an 1869 geographic expedition down the Colorado River, said, The wonder of the Grand Canyon cannot be adequately represented in symbols of speech, nor by speech itself. The resources of the graphic art are taxed beyond their powers in attempting to portray its features. Language and illustration combined must fail. Everywhere you look, there is a different texture, color, and light. And yes, that is snow. They get snow in the Grand Canyon, something I had no idea about until I got down there. My trusty mule would like to point out the wonderful wildlife that is also there. By the way, don't mess with this Mustang's family. Seriously, don't. Oh, and this elk? Not impressed by dad jokes. He walked away from me. My favorite animal was the raven, though. It was like Odin himself was there with you. The size and majesty of these birds gliding across the canyon will take your breath away. And so if you're wondering, should I go out and see this hole in the ground? Absolutely. You cannot understand the grand magic of the Grand Canyon until you live it.